once we process either glucose or fatty acids or even ketones, we have to bring that energy molecule into the mitochondria, specifically to the electron transport chain for the processing of ATP. The end result of the general food processing are molecules called NADH and FADH2. And NADH and FADH2 move in from Krebs cycle towards the electron transport chain, where they start to unload their molecules of energy and start the processing of ATP. So if we can create an abundant concentration of electrons at the raw material phase of processing, we can really push those electrons down each step of the way. NAD or NAD precursors are literally being put into the system, and that is the initiation phase, step one, in the electron transport chain, making sure that we're putting an enormous concentration of energy at the beginning of that process so that it has the gradient it needs to go down each step of the way.